What's going on everybody? Dead Moon here from the Grave slash Dead TV. And tonight I am showing you what could possibly be my last Toys R Us pickup video. Um <clears throat> I guess you I guess you wouldn't say my last Toys R Us pickup video, um, because I have several items from Toys R Us throughout the years that I could do videos for, but I don't know, I kind of feel like you pretty much do pickups and stuff like that for stuff that you actually recently picked up. I could be wrong, leave me a comment below if uh, you guys want to see any um, older pickups and stuff like that that I got from years past from Toys R Us, or just older figures in general. I have a lot of crap, so I pretty much just do the new stuff I get, um, but that's just that for now. Anyhow, as you can see, I picked up um, this vinyl, I'd say pop vinyl, but it's a Funko product. It is a vinyl set of Dark Side plus Martian Manhunter. Um, it was really cheap. I think I paid like seven bucks for it. And I love Dark Side. And it's hard to get some Dark Side um uh what am I looking for here? Material, I guess. <laughs> Dark Side um memorabilia. I don't know. It's hard to get Dark Side stuff. Usually figures and stuff pushed into like fifty to a hundred and I believe the Funko itself is like one twenty five to one fifty yeah, I'm not really going to pay that. But if anybody has a Dark Side Funko they'd like to trade for a 7-Eleven exclusive Deadpool, uh, let me know. Maybe we can work something out. But anyhow, um, I also picked up some Mini Mates, which I don't really get very many of those. But they did have these Beetlejuice Mini Mates. Um, the Tuxedo Beetlejuice with Otho. I mean, that's pretty funny. That's really cool. They did a good job on these. I love the packaging. It is a Toys R Us exclusive, as you can see, it does have the uh, seal of Toys R Us on there. And then, of course on the back it shows you everybody else you can get. They didn't have um, Adam with Beetlejuice, uh, Big Top Beetlejuice, which sucks because I really wanted it. But I did pick that up. I do not open Mini Mates. I leave them in the packaging. I think that I like them better like that. They did have Barbara with her crazy head and of course Lydia Dietz really cool um, and I picked this up because I do like Nightmare for Christmas and this is a uh, Toys R Us exclusive here you got the glow-in-the-dark Santa and Cyclops which is pretty cool and as you can see it had the uh, seal right there it does have a little bit of whatever you want to call it crunchiness here someone kind of bent it a little bit but there was only two of these and the other one looked like shit so I grabbed this one uh, looks like Santa glows and on the back here it shows you it looks like the Cyclops eye glows and Santa's beard and trim on his coat glow. They did not have the Vampire Brothers and they did not have uh, Santa Jack or Mayor, which sucked because I wanted those two. Alright, we will grab these mini mates and get them out of the way because we are going to unbox something in this video and it is going to be this right here this DC Super Heroes Dark Side Martian Manhunter vinyl. So, we're going to go ahead and get this open and take a look at these guys. I like that artwork on the back. Classic. Really cool. I like the box. It's really neat. I'm going to pull it off uh, camera. It's easier for me to just sit it on my lap. Right now. I like the box. It's pretty neat. Now when I first saw Funko's vinyl set, I was like, What's the deal with this? I mean, they already have Funko Pops, you know? So why do they have Funko Vinyls? I mean, whatever. They're pretty cool. They're different than Pops, but they're almost better quality. If you ask me, they, they just seem like they're better quality. But <clears throat> these came with... Each one of these came with a uh, clear cylindrical base to put them on, which is always nice. They were standing nice. I just sat them up on the table and... They're standing really, really nice on their own. But we'll go ahead and do a 360 shot for you for these guys. We'll start with Martian Manhunter. He's a Martian and he's a Manhunter. Get the camera in so you guys can get a look at him. Seems like the closer I get, I'm going to leave it right there. If I get too close, I get a, a glare. Kind of strange. But there's Martian Manhunter. The vinyls are different because their heads are different. 
they're sculpted different than a pop head. Pop heads are usually just like round and cherubish, like a uh, cabbage patchy or garbage pail, I guess you can say. Um, they all have like the same type of eyes. Um, some of them don't, but I love Funkos, but these vinyls are definitely different. Um, the appendages they have, well, the dark sides aren't moving. His arms aren't moving, but it looks like Martian Manhunter's wrists and arms might actually be able to move a little bit of articulation. Um, their bodies are kind of square. Uh, Funko bodies are not square. Funko bodies actually have like a whole body shape to them, but these vinyls have square type of um, torsos and chests. But they do seem like they're a little bit higher quality. I guess just maybe the vinyl. I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't think they make very many of these compared to uh, Pop. So they were able to uh, make them look better. All right. I'll grab him off of here. Let's check the arms. No. No, they don't move. Hmm. Still cool, though. I mean, I paid $7 for these. And the real reason why I bought it right here. So I can have me a dark side figure. Yeah. I mean, I love dark side so much. I'm like, mm, man, I won't buy a $125 Funko Pop. I will tell you that. Guy. I will tell you guys that right now, I will not do that. I refuse. Uh, the most I paid for a pop that I missed out on was 22 I think. And that was the um, Oryx Pop. Or, uh, no, 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 sorry, that was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was Oryx, Oryx, Son of Crota, or wait, no, I'm sorry, or, never mind, it's a Crota Pop, it's late, I'm getting confused, it's the other way around, I bought the, uh, Crota Pop, um, I already have Oryx, it's really cool, um, but I bought the Crota Pop for, like, 22 with $3 shipping off of eBay, and that was kind of rough for me, because I get all my pops at retail, but, retail or cheaper or you know the old buy two get one free sale that GameStop likes to have and all that jazz I guess I'm just rambling I'm tired long day at work so I wanted to do a couple videos and there's dark side nice pose nice face like it love it so happy I got it seven bucks Toys R Us all right we'll pluck him off of here give you guys one last shot of this vinyl two pack I got from Toys R Us. We'll put the box in the shot because it looks neat. It's a nice box. And that's the thing about these vinyl boxes. They, um, they're they always thicker uh, stock cardboard and they put more effort into these vinyl boxes. They're sturdier. You don't have to worry about them really necessarily breaking. I don't know. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know why they uh, want to give all the love as far as like the stability and uh, the production of the vinyls but whatever I mean I'll buy the cool ones um, me and my girlfriend kinda thought that we'd stay clear of the vinyls cause we're like yeah they're vinyls I mean they're cool but we like pops but I found myself buying more and more of these vinyls anyhow I've rambled enough in this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope everything turned out alright head to your local Toys R Us if you still have one Check out their sales. I mean, um, they're getting better and better for me here. I think we're at 50% off all across the board. And uh, plan on going back probably this weekend, actually, maybe tomorrow or uh, Saturday. Don't work weekend, so I'm going to go check that out. All right, guys, you can catch me on Twitter and Instagram at BDeadMoon. That is the letter B followed by the word DeadMoon. You can also catch me on Twitch TV at DeadTV. That is dead underscore T underscore V. And right here on YouTube, we're all unboxing videos, collectibles, comic book related crap, video game related crap. I call it crap, but I'm just saying that because I want to. I love that shit. It's all here on YouTube at From the Grave. You guys, um, I'm going to suggest that you head over to my Instagram and my Twitter. And um, that'd be probably the best place to subscribe or follow me on and get, you know, make sure you turn alerts on. If you want to see new videos and new giveaways and contests that I may be placing up, um, I will put a video up for those, obviously. But if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that will give you an alert ahead of time as I always put them up before the video goes up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, take care.